They're like, why did it, why did it leave on cliffhanger? I'm like, I don't know, ask Disney. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Every character is different. Um, I mean, if I could pick like a favorite project, I would probably choose Lex and Katie. Um, it was my, that was my first time. It was a show where it was like my show and I was the lead and I had to learn how to be the leader of a group. And we worked on that for like three years. So, you know, that was a really big family for me. And like, we still keep in touch. We still talk. Like I haven't let it go yet. I still, I want to do like a movie or something. So I'm hoping that that's gonna happen and then I'll finally let her go. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, I'll probably say Alexa and Katie was, was my favorite. I mean, no, um, I have, you know, been talking to our creator about how we would go about that. Um, Cause I actually, I actually write and yeah. one day I would like to produce and have my own company and do everything. So. Um, I reached out to her and I was like, Hey, like, what are the odds that we could write an Alexa and Katie script? Yeah. And, um, so I'm working on it. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm really, really trying. I'm trying to give the people what they want. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll see, maybe we can yeah. cook something up together that okay. everyone will enjoy. I mean, I, I, I'm fine with how it ended. I, <laughs> um, but I, I definitely, I wasn't ready to fully let it go. Like yeah. it was just such an emotional day on set, our last day. And I, yeah, I wasn't ready to let it go. And I'm still not ready to let it go. So I'm <laughs> still trying. I'm trying out here. Um, but yeah, that was that was a great show. It was it, it meant a lot to people. And we got nominated for a Kids Choice Award, which is really yeah. fun. So awesome. I'm excited about that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I just, I miss, we, we had such a great writing team mm -hmm. on Alexa and Katie. You know, we were a funny show. I got to have a lot of fun on set and off set. And then we also had like these very grounded and emotional moments. And we told a great story about friendship and family. Yeah. And I feel like when I was on set, you know, I've been with these people for so long and we had been a family for so long that I didn't have to like act like a different person. Like, right. you know, when you go to work and you're like, you have to, you talk to this one a certain way, you talk to another person a certain mm -hmm. way. My boyfriend is actually just telling me, he, we had a rap party and he was like, I saw you change personalities so many different times depending on who you were talking to. And I was like, yeah, like, and that's just how it is in the business. Mm -hmm. um, and on Alexa and Katie, I didn't have to do that. I could just yeah. be like goofy, normal Paris, <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> um, which I loved. And I loved everyone else on that cast too. I, I mean, I think I just, I miss everyone really. Mm -hmm. We do have a group chat. We do have a group chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I I haven't brought it up to them because I'm trying to like I'm like I'm gonna see if I can make this work and mm -hmm. if I if I can't then I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. So. <laughs> I do. I, yeah. I keep in touch with um, probably Kelly the most, but and probably Kelly and Bradley actually. Mm -hmm. Jake I talk to here and there. I haven't talked to Billy or William in a while um but no i miss them too that's another show like that was super fun i got to like beat i got to beat up guys like all the time and do stunts and flips and wear a tight superhero suit so and that one left on a cliffhanger that people still ask me about they're like why did it why did leave on cliffhanger i'm like i don't know ask disney i have nothing to do with it <laughs> No, I, I haven't heard anything from yeah. that show. Um, that would be cool, though. I, I would love to do, um, I would love to do, like, a, a more mature version of it. Because it's, like, superheroes and, like, we're older now. So I think it would it would be cool to make it a little more adult rather than kiddie. Yeah. Not in the sense of, like, making it raunchy and, like, sexy. Like, not like that. Just um, making us more mature, like, not like we're kids. So that would be cool. I was in New York like a year or two ago and I had a bunch of luggage with me. And so I was running through the subways with my luggage and I was going through the thing that like you swipe your card and like goes ding and you go through. So I was going through it and um, my, I was pushing my luggage with me and it got stuck. And I was literally trapped in between the metal bars and my luggage in this thing. 
in like the middle of a rush hour in New York City. And I was like, no, 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 no. I am not this person right now. I am not this person right now. Like, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so embarrassing. Definitely got a lot of glares and weird faces. So I basically had to like jump over the thing and like pull my luggage out from the other side. It was awful, horrendous. I don't know why I just thought of that. Probably because I'm in New York, but that's, that's the most embarrassing thing I can think of right now. All right, guys, the crew is now streaming on Netflix. So go check it out.